Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Summer Night 5. Last time, we started looking for the Staff of Memories, so we're just kind of going around, getting some clues, and we did figure out that some guy named Naja stole it, and he's using uh, it to steal people's memories and absorb magical power from the staff. Oh, okay. We've also seen a lot of people who were, like, kind of, um forgetting things, like Wooly's little friend here, who forgot about this appointment. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she just wants to play. <laughs> oh, that seems kind of nice, but yeah, we uh, kind of have something important to do. Oh, cake and ice cream. Hmm, that does sound uh, pretty good. Oh, yeah, did you hear anything about a staff? Oh. Really? How convenient. Of course she did! Oh, walking along the city outskirts. Huh, you don't say. Hmm. Yeah, it is kind of odd. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, fierce is one way to put it. Well, uh, she's kind of busy, and you kind of have school to go to, so... Get at it, girl. But anyway, let's head on over here to the U-Cross and get our event underway. Now that we've gathered all the relevant information that we need to, we can uh, finally do something about it. Oh. Oh yeah, that's true. Huh. Okay, on the west side of Savoro. And a fiend during dimly lit roads. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. I mean, we could just kind of go looking around for him. Just kind of maybe go out at night in the western part of town, and maybe we'll just kind of bump into him. What's she doing? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 all about you know the uh, the right place, right time. Oh. Oh, yeah, that is true. He's a fiend as well, and uh, she did do a lot of undercover work for us, so I can understand her being kind of wary. You know, you don't want your summoner to get in danger. But she seems pretty powerful. Oh, something's going on. What is it? Yikes! Yeah, uh, this seems like our guy. <laughs> the hockey mask. Yeah, it's uh, Jason back from the grave. Oh, he wants more power! Why? Okay, if you want more power, why would you go after some little girl? Like, go after, like, some really powerful summoners who were just standing right around the corner. I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah, they, uh, I guess he kind of does want their power. Well, of course it's a trap. <laughs> Lemonade? What are you talking about? Wait, yesterday? Did we meet this guy yesterday? Whoa! Huh. Maybe he, like, took on a new form or something, and that's how he's been able to go around and uh, talk to people. Because believe me, if I saw somebody like this on the street, I'd run the other way. I wouldn't just hang around and talk to him. Oh, yeah, and you're stealing them all. That's awful. Hmm. Well, maybe we could put a stop to him. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Well, that's no good at all. Okay, let's do this. And then they're gonna do their little summon art thing. I don't know. This it reminds me of something from like Captain Planet when they do this, or Sailor Moon, or um oh what is that stupid show? Uh, Power Rangers. You know, whatever they're the end and they're summoning and all this. But thankfully, we don't have to see it all that often. This doesn't happen before every battle. Just some battles. But here we have Nasia himself, along with a whole bunch of other guys. This is just lovely. Okay, so let's see what we gotta do. Score first attack, we can do that. Life resonance. Defeat five or more foes with summon arts. That won't be a problem. 
two or more foes at once. Won't be a problem either. I think I could do all these. So there's our leader, and we're going to be taking him out last. Also, I did a little bit of leveling up since last time. Basically, Arca, again, she got magic points and magic defense. Spinel, magic points, magic defense. Yang Hua, attack power and tech. Callus and Soken, they couldn't really level up, so it is what it is. Anyway, uh, no, 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 let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm good to go. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's move some people around. Uh, let's see, we have a summon cluster right over here. Actually, let me look at these people. Let's look at the uh, drop conditions. Ooh, we get some bonus stuff from them, too. Any equipment going on here? Anything that we can maybe steal? Ooh, a dream lamp from Nature. Huh, that might come in handy. I'll see about having, um, who was it, Yang Hua steal that from her. So yeah, we got, or from him, I should say. So there's our leader. We have a summon cluster to take care of. We have this huge ghost to take care of. So let's see, we'll put you, um, actually, let's do this. Let's put you guys in the front, you in the back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and start this up. Um, yeah, not a problem. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is talking about switching units in and out of the party. Since we do have so many units now, um, you can switch them in and out of the party, and if a unit's in reserve, they'll recover HP and MP and things like that, but I really don't want to be switching party members in and out. Honestly, it's best just to choose five party members that you like and that will you will use till the end of the game. It's just the best way to go. So let's see what we can do right here. Uh, let's see. Let's look at Blink Flash. Ooh, can I hit all three of them with Blink Flash? Hey, I can! Oh, it's such a good skill. Oh, it's amazing! Yeah, I love, love it! Uh, let's see. Um, I wonder if I can hit the rest of them with this. Oh no, just the one. The thing about AoEs, though, um, you can actually hit your own party members with them, so be very wary of that. You won't hit yourself, and you won't hit your cross with it. As you can see, they're not affected, but your other party members can be affected. So, just uh, be on the lookout for that. Okay, so you're just kind of chilling. Uh, let's see. Let's get him up here. Hopefully he can do some damage as well. Okay, yeah, awesome. Nice! Okay, one already down. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Let's bring her up here. There we go. Can you? No. Okay. So just hang out. And, uh, soak in. Let's see. Hopefully I'll be able to hit something with him. It's kind of crappy whenever you can't hit anybody, but, you know, it is what it is. We're just kind of getting, you know, set up and started. Also, Naja... He has um, a poison-based attack, so be on the lookout for that. That can really suck. And he can poison you with a counter-attack as well, so it's not just his regular attack. Um, just be wary of actually attacking him. Let's see. Uh, I really do want to kill two at once, but I shouldn't have a problem doing that. Let's get Arca over here, and let's see if I can't use another blank flash, because this guy right here... Um, if you notice, since he is so large, you can actually hit him multiple times with an area of effect spell. This is going to do 150 damage to him. That is why area of effect spells and magic spells in general are so good in this game. They're really incredibly overpowered. So the second, or the, the sooner that you can get to an area of effect spell, the better off you will be. Uh, let's see. Just can't use another blank flash. I uh, can't hit anything with that, so you just chill, hang out. Uh, let's see if I can get, because I really do want to kill Peiko as well. That's a summon cluster over there. Um, and I'll let you two take care of that big ghost. So let's have you guys head over here and see what we can't uh, accomplish. Eh, still can't hit anything. Yeah, you suck. Eh, just chill. <laughs> Basically, I just have them in here to have all my bases covered as far as hitting various weaknesses and things like that. Okay, I think I'm good. Yeah, everybody's done everything that they can do. You can't attack. Uh, Spinel, you can't really attack either, so yeah, good to go. Oh, I wonder if Dave's just not going to do anything to me. That would be kind of nice, actually. 
Yeah, sometimes enemies here, they just kind of hang out and don't do much. Like, if you're out of range, they just kind of sit there. Which makes my life a lot easier, I must say. Yeah, she's becoming quite the dodge tank now, so that's very, very nice. Uh-oh. Nage is starting to attack us. Everybody's coming around us. Oh no, whatever am I going to do? I'm totally, totally screwed. Actually, no, I'm really not. Uh, let's see. Go put on your sword. And then I'm just going to have you pretty much kill this guy. So that's your job, is just to hang out here, deal with this ghost. And uh, Arca and Spinel, your job is to make sure that we kill these guys indiscriminately. Uh, do you have a heal of some sort that you can use? Uh, medical light, that's a status curing ability. I guess you could use... Well, I don't really want to use an item right now. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's have Spinel... Let's see, I'm going to move you here. And then... Oh, you still can't use a blank flash. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so let's have you move a bit closer. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Move him away. And then have you uh, see about just attacking that guy, whatever. There we go. One down. Nice. And let's move her closer to the, towards these enemies. Since she can use a blank flash. Oh, wait. No, she can't. Oh hell. Sucks. <laughs> uh, that's fine, though. Uh, let's see. I don't want to kill Naja. I actually want to steal from Naja as well. So I'll just keep that in mind for later. I guess some extra damage wouldn't hurt anything see what you can't do. Uh, you know what? Let's just have you heal. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. And let's have you use a Weeping Lightning. Yeah, take out that guy. Awesome. Uh, hey, not doing half bad. And I think that's everybody doing what they can do. Yeah, we're good. This probably isn't the most efficient way of taking these guys out, and I still do need to kill two guys at once. Um... And I still also need to kill that summon cluster first, so I'm trying to, kind of trying to, I don't know, take it a little bit slowly, if you know what I mean. Oh no, she's been put to sleep! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's fine though. I have a status curing um, ability with Callus, so that won't be a problem. So that one right there let me know that I have one more turn that I need to, that I will be asleep. But I'm just going to go ahead and cure it using Callus. But hey, there we go. And let's see about stealing from this guy. Uh, we'll do it from behind, so hopefully I can get it. Yeah. Hey, nice! Totally got it. Not a problem at all. And Soka, let's get you over here. And let's have you just kill this ghost. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Now hopefully he'll be safe from anybody else attacking him, because he doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of HP. Wow, I still can't use a blank flash. You've got to be kidding. Uh, but whatever. Let's see. Let's just weaken some people then. Maybe, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take out this uh, summon cluster. It's one thing to do. There we go. Wow, I'm not getting a whole lot of MP or MP with them. So that's kind of crappy. Uh, what else got going on here? Yeah, the reason why I'm not getting so much MP is because I'm in their zone of control. So I might want to move them away from them, but it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, there we are. Mm. See, and they're so clustered up. Oh, it'd be so nice if I had enough MP for a blank flash. Oh, it'd be just be amazing. Wow, these guys are really going all out here. Okay. Let's see where I'm at now. Uh, is 40 enough for a blank flash? I don't remember. Oh, it is! Ooh, this is glorious. Uh, let's see, I can... Everybody, but this would also hit Young Hugh, and I really don't want to hit her. So let's just have her um, move a little bit away. Let's see where I'm going to stick her. What if I put you... Is that... Would this be maybe behind him? I don't remember if that would actually hit him or not, but... Eh, whatever. Or hit her. She has plenty of HP to survive it anyway, even if she does get hit by it. But let's just try not to get hit by her, because I don't want to accumulate any kind of karma. Uh, let's see. That hits... Yeah, this is really what I want. It does hit her, but... 
Let's see, would it kill them both? No, it wouldn't kill him. Would it kill him? Uh, even by using this, it, would, it wouldn't kill multiple people, so I'm gonna wait on that for right now. And, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna have you, um, do some little bit more damage there. Now that I've done that extra bit of damage, hopefully I should be able to kill two fiends with one stone. So, let's give it a shot. Hey, nice! Sweet! Hey, awesome! Yeah, that's the ticket. That's totally the way to do it. Hey, uh, let's see, who still needs to attack? Callus and Soken need to attack. Uh, that's the leader, I don't want to take him out. Does this guy give any kind of extra drops? Oh, he does. So I want to make sure that I take him out as well. Um, you know what, let's put you into, um, life residence mode. That will also fulfill another brave condition. There we go. And then hopefully I can deal some extra damage to this guy, maybe take him out. That would just be lovely. Oh, but he's out of range. So I'm going to see if I can't put him into range by using Summon Assist. Basically, you take people who are around you, hit the square button, they assist you with it, and then if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, I have a power-up, a range-up, a summon rank-up, all that kind of good stuff. So now I can hopefully hit him. Hey, I can with my Weeping Lightning! And everybody will assist me. Nice! Dealing lots of damage to him, but he's still alive, which is no good. So hopefully, maybe I can have you take him out. Hey, I can! Sweet! Anybody else still have an attack left? No. Okay, so... As long as he doesn't kill Callus, I should be fine. Oh, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, I got into critical mode, but, eh, who really cares? Did I fulfill all the conditions? Let me just double check. Uh, let's see, it's orders. There we go. Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay, sweet. So, let's just have you, uh, take this guy out. Won't be a problem. Let's see, uh, no, there we go. Yeah, awesome. So, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, make sure you heal if you really need to. Always check your battle conditions as well. It's always a really good idea to continually check battle conditions and really, really, really try to kill not only all the enemies to get extra bonus experience and bonus money, but also the bonus drops. Lots of illustrations, too. We'll see those in the gallery in a bonus episode, though. So, yeah, not that hard as long as you're cognizant of what you're doing. I mean, I could have played it a bit more defensively, and honestly, if I was on normal mode, I would have to play it more defensively, because they would be dealing 20% more damage to me, and that 20% more damage would have easily put Callus um, into the dead zone right there. So, yeah, it would have just been a little bit more healing here and there, but nothing too hard. Oh, by the way, if you do get poisoned, just use Callus's Medical Light, and that would heal it. You could use an item, but um, that would hurt your Brave Point percentage, so um, I'm not really a big fan of items. That's another reason why I don't buy items, because most battles have a little condition that says, you know, don't use more than three items. And even if you do use one item, you're penalized by one Brave Metal per item that you do use. So... I really, really, really try not to use items as much as humanly possible and stick just to healing magic whenever at all possible. Oh yeah, that Mimic Angel Master. Oh, you're really still mimicking us? Like, seriously? Oh. Well, they don't call you a master for nothing, I guess. Yeah, we've got it. Hey, awesome! Oh, that's true. <laughs> Uh, Sokin isn't exactly the, uh, nicest person around. I've got to say, we're really traveling with a party of people who aren't all that nice. Yang Hu is not that nice, Sokin's not that nice, and Saida seems to have kind of a mean streak in her as well. But Arka's nice, and Callus is really nice. He's just very happy-go-lucky and sweet and bubbly. I really like him. And some of the crosses are nice, too, but it's kind of weird. Like, you never, ever get to see Sokin's cross. I think his name is, like, Kazamaru. He's, like, a little... I don't know, a, um... A wolf? Or, like, a little Okami and Amaterasu type of, um... Cross? But then again, you do get to see Callus's cross. You get to see Flutier all the time. You get to see Spinel all the time. It's just kind of odd how 
Some crosses actually get to talk, and some crosses don't. Oh, yeah! Spinall does want to know about her past. So, can you use the staff of memories on her? Let her know where she came from? What happened? Maybe where her parents are or something? Yeah. Anything? Anything at all? Yeah, that's pretty sad. Oh, okay. Well, great, thanks. You know, you would think that by her coming back to Saparet that she'd meet somebody that knew her? Somebody? Anybody? You would think that, you know, if there was a missing child ten-something years ago, that someone would know something about it. But I guess not. But maybe we'll learn now. Anything? What is it? Oh. Nothing! Of course not. Oh, maybe. Huh. Well, maybe later, if we come by after it's regained some of its powers, then, uh, we'll be able to release more of your memories. Yeah, well, of course it does. Having a hole in your memory would bother anyone. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. But then again, like she said, you know, maybe its misuse made it drain some of its powers. Maybe it just needs to be repaired. Really? You're talking about stroganoff in a steamed bun? Like, come on now. Are you kidding me right now? Like, seriously? I guess she's just trying to add some levity to the situation. She's just trying to, you know, be nice and bubbly and jovial. Um rather than just kind of letting on how upset she actually is. Yeah. It shouldn't take too long to fix. I mean, it is their greatest treasure. It would have, like, top priority for fixing. Well, what is it? Yeah. That is true. How did that happen? Yeah, fiends wouldn't en enter here. They don't like the angels, and they can't really be around the angels. Oh, yeah, and he was rather weak. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Again, you know, standard rule of RPGs, if you obsess too much about them, and you really think too much about them, you'll go crazy. So here we have our little Chapter 2 summary. Um... And also, I want to talk a little bit about the night conversation that's going to happen uh, forthcoming. You're going to get to choose through a lot of people at this point. And um, sometime during this chapter, in Chapter 5, you have to, have to, have to choose Saida to have a night conversation. And the reason for that is, whenever you do choose her, you will have the opportunity to gain a... Um, uh, a hidden party member much later in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and choose her just to kind of get her out of the way. Again, you need to do this sometime between now and Chapter 5. If you don't, you will be forever locked out of this super secret character later on in the game. So make sure that you do it. I'm just doing it now so I don't forget about it. And uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this. And tune in next time for more antics going on in Chapter 3. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Thank you.